It's been 200 years since drums of war like these echoed through the Niagara Peninsula. But on the first day of 2012, with his flag overhead, Ontario's Lieutenant Governor held his New Year's levy at a former war zone in Niagara to begin the official process of looking back to the War of 1812. A very significant uh, war that really defined the fate of both Canada and the United States. Officials are hoping events like these will help Canadians rediscover this chapter of their country and its history. Canada proved itself and, uh, and stepped forward into nationhood. Uh, 1867, we became a country officially, but uh, when you look at history, we really became a country at the end of the War of 1812. They say the War of 1812 may be obscured by time, but it was a tough war when the Americans attacked in places like Fort George and Niagara-on-the-Lake, and the British soldiers, Canadian militia, and First Nations fought back under grueling conditions. Jefferson himself said taking Canada was a mere matter of marching. We just got to get there. What they didn't count on was all the people here fighting as viciously as they did. And they say this history lesson goes far beyond Canada to show that enemies can become friends. A world that's so fractured and has so many animosities that uh, two bitter opponents, bitter enemies, uh, all these years later are strong and fast allies and have been for a long time. Events are planned for the next three years, marking the declaration of war in June 1812 and the 1814 treaty that's given us 200 years of peace. Al Sweeney, CHCH News.